Hello everybody, this is Blex. Today we're going to be talking about setting your path and setting your directories for using Python. So this is something I didn't learn until much later in my Python career, but it's actually very, very simple to learn. So let's say you have multiple drives in your computer. You're booting off of an SSD like me and you have a limited amount of free space, but you have a standard hard disk drive that has plenty of storage space. When you're working with big data sets, sometimes you want to be able to drop that on the, the D drive or some extra drive that has a ton of space, but your Python is installed to your C drive. So how do you navigate over there? How do you tell your computer to access that data? So let's go ahead and uh, showcase how to do that. We have this bit of data in my D drive right now. So it's some old Kaggle data, and we're going to go ahead and access that with the Anaconda prompt. So we're going to go ahead and type in Jupyter Notebook, and you'll see it brings me to my users Blex folder. So this is where everything is stored. This is where we set up our Anaconda installation. So that's why it brings us here naturally. So I pre-built this Anaconda or this um, Python file that we can go ahead and access, and this will show you how to access data stored in a different drive, which is a pretty common and uh, useful thing to be able to do. So we're going to import OS. So this is the package. This is a um, command to do that. It's already available in Anaconda. You don't have to do anything. We're going to set the variable path to the location of the D drive location that we need to access. From here, we're going to then call the OS package, and we're going to set current directory to the path. And we just set path to be that D drive location. From here, we can go ahead and import pandas, and then import the file by reading CSV and we can uh, df head this just to show that it works and I'll uh, rewrite it just so you guys can know for sure that it actually does work. We can df head and we can access the training data CSV from my D drive location when I'm naturally installed on the C drive. Now alternatively, you can just run Python notebooks from the D drive itself. So you can go ahead and type in D colon and then we can type in CD and then put in the location of the D drive files. So we can go ahead and copy and paste that D drive file in. Python accepts that and we can type in Jupyter Notebook. From here we can go ahead and view the same files that we can in our file explorer because we just current directoried into that location. Now let's pop open a new window. We can import pandas and then I'll go ahead and read in some of the additional uh, read in the same data that we previously did just to prove that it works as well and we can see that with this bit of code and a DF head, we do get the training data set um, accessible from a Python file that's located in the D drive, even though we're naturally installed in the C drive. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. It means the world. Thank you.